welcome our guest briefer for today. Of course, you know her. Very well. Police Superintendent Beth Velasquez of the Highway Patrol Group. Beth. Good, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, and uh, other guests. Uh, today, I will be. Uh, okay. I will. My the scope of presentation of this press briefing is about security of preparations for the summer vacation for 2016 this year and the deployment of HPG personnel along EDSA and the update on motor vehicle car napping incidents. And uh, as you can see, uh, the situation is the summer vacation 2016 includes, of course, the closing of classes, the Lenten season, town fiestas, Flores de Mayo, homecomings, and other related activities. And we expect a huge number of uh, travelers, both local and foreign individual, to various urban and provincial areas. And uh, of course, we are very particular about the peace and order concerns to include traffic congestion, road accidents, and criminal activities, especially along highways and major thoroughfares. For the mission of the traffic of the highway uh, patrol group, uh, of course, we have to conduct traffic management direction and control not only in EDSA but also in other parts of the provinces, especially for those uh, venues no, that uh, people converge uh, for the summer vacation. We have also uh, we'll, we'll also have the motorized security patrol and uh, road safety programs along national highways to and from vacation spots summer resorts, places of worship, and other similar places because you know no that Lenten season is fast approaching. No? By March, we will be having the Lenten season. This is to ensure the safe travel and uh, uh, safe travel and uh, of motorists and navigationists. For the execution, the HPG per se uh, will, uh, will assist in the organization of the service teams with service professionals and equipment as the installation of motorist assistance and uh, the different uh, uh, boundaries of the highways, no? where there is doctors, there are nurses, there are some mechanics no? in case uh, your vehicles bug down, and other professionals that, is, that will be uh, needed during our deep travel. And we have also our own safety campaigns teams consisting of the non-government organizations, private firms, and other, other safety organizations. We will also render assistance and provide enforcement action based on Republic Act 4136, the Land Transportation Code of the Philippines, and uh, other related offenses along the highways. We have also, our, especially our regional offices will also conduct a safety campaign, uh, sort of an information drives like flyers and other materials that will be distributed to all motorists and other road users. And of course, we will help in the putting up of signage for road construction, such as road blocking sites in hazardous areas in order to prevent accidents and or traffic congestion. For the end, of course, we will coordinate with transport groups no, for the general maintenance of uh, public utility vehicles and uh, as well as the motor vehicles road worthiness. We do that every time. No? We, will, we, we usually go to the bus terminals. Uh, we, we, are, uh, talk, uh, we are having our sum briefing with the drivers. We also inspect together with LTFRB, yung mga gulong nila, kung yung bang blow bag nila is okay. So we are doing that you know, to prevent accidents ha to happen. We have also identified accident prone areas and for those areas we will be deploying some people from the HPGs and put some signages no, for them to know that accidents happen in that areas. And we will also conduct traffic direction and control along highways and major thoroughfares uh, with traffic congestion and traffic prone areas. Of course, uh, so our mandate will also deploy anti-car napping teams at determined car napping prone areas. This is also uh, simultaneous with our road safety programs because you know, when uh, summer vacation uh, starts, there are so many vehicles no, 
na talagang nagpa-fly along the highways at doon nagkakaroon ng oportunidad ng ating mga masasamang loob na mas maraming oportunidad na mangarnap sila by this time. So that is our uh, uh, preparations for the uh, summer vacation. And moving on uh, for our deployment of HPG personnel along EDSA, we have a total of 183 personnel as of this date deployed along EDSA. Our first ship, composed of 98 personnel, uh, is conducting their uh, traffic uh, assistance from 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then our second ship is from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m., composed of 75 personnel. And we have also a mobile patrol that will start, kasi syempre after 11 p.m., wala nang traffic, sa EDSA, wala nang traffic personnel. So we have conducted, we have uh, uh, deployed, uh, mo uh, we, we have a mobile patrol no, that uh, will fly around the, around ESA, dun sa kahabaan along ESA, from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m composed of 10 personnel. So, uh, maybe during night time, makikita nyo sila dyan pa, pa ano, ano. Kasi ang coverage namin is, is from Balintawak to Pasay area, Pasay Taf. Now, as you can see, we have uh, the areas of deployment we have in Balintawak. Actually, uh, maybe uh, next week, I will be going to Balintawak to supervise them. And then, Trinoma, we have also in Cobau, Santolan, Ortigas. This is the areas of deployment, we call it Talk points. We have also in Shaw, Guadalupe, Ayala Mantrade, and Pasay. And the mobile patrol, they are flying in all areas no, along EDSA. Uh, this, uh, the personnel that are involved in this uh, deployment are maximum of at least seven and minimum of at least five with uh, a team leader. And uh, kaya lang meron kaming some problem because some of them are not deputized. But in every team, there has been at least one or two that has been deputized by the LTO. You may ask, what if uh, ako, na, wala akong deputation ticket? Uh, wala akong deputation, I don't have the TOP or the OBR. So, pwede rin naman akong sumita, but I will endorse it to MMDA or to other personnel that has uh, uh, the, uh, that has the ticket, no? And then we are also maintaining our Mabuhay lanes. Up to now, we have at least 17 Mabuhay lanes, no? You know it very well that uh, this Mabuhay lanes has been installed, has been created, no? As a shortcut for the people not to use the ADSA anymore. So, and uh, I'm happy to say that uh, from, uh, October, from October to this date, we have uh, uh, towed, uh, medyo marami na tayong na tow, no? at least 176 per motor vehicles and some uh, uh, less than 200 per motorcycles. No? Medyo may konti nga lang, you know, negative reactions, no? Kasi uh, parang ang tingin nagkukulang daw ng uh, information drive because, you know, and some of the uh, stores, no? yung nandun sa store, syempre hindi pwede mag-park. So, may June nakakaroon tayo ng konting problema, but we, we, we were, we're having some uh, uh, orientation with them that uh, they should not allow the, their passats to be parked by vehicles. Otherwise, their vehicles will be towed and it will be detrimental sa park nila. So, we have uh, some other agencies that is involved in easing the traffic situation in the So, of course, we have the MMDA. We have the LTO, we have also the DPWH, and the LPFRB. Okay, so that's it for the for the deployment. Unless you have some, uh, unless you have some questions, no. So. See, no, we have a total reported carnapping cases by month. This is the third quarter of 2014 as compared to 2015. And as you can see, there has a significant uh, decrease no, as far as carnapping. Maybe because the uh, uh, some of 
almost half of our, actually more than half of our personal are deployed in EDSA. So that means that mas marami yung tumututok ngayon, no? mas maraming tao, so mas bumababa yung car, mas bumaba yung car napping cases natin. So as you can see in the, in the presentation, we for December alone, uh, we have only 90 no? for uh, motor uh, napping and uh, 60 for uh, car napping in December. And then for, we can see here, ah, so we can see also total reported motor napping case by month. As you can see, umaba din po siya. So, ito yung reported nating motor napping case by month. Umaba. Okay, and for the HPG crime status on car napping in NCR alone, no? uh, since the start of the Lambat of Plan Lambat Sibat in October 24 of uh, last year, we have a crime statistic per week of 39, 39 uh, motor vehicle and 42 for motor cycle. And as you can see, as days passed, umaba na siya up to four. Last January, ito lang, itong January 4, no? For, for a weekly basis, we have only four car napping incidents per day and uh, while 29 motorcycle per day. So if you will compare it to the uh, uh, to, to records uh, before the Lambat Sibat, so I can see that the Opel Lambat Sibat also is very much, kumbaga uh, eh, May, may ano siya talaga, may effect, no? There is an effect as to the Aplan Lambat Sibat. Kasi ito na 42 and then 29 na ngayon. So there is a significant uh, decrease. Okay, I just want to show you lang some of our accomplishments for the past, uh, for the past, uh, yan, okay? So yun yung crime statistics natin, no? Na bumaba, as I said kanina. Pumaba siya from 39 to 4. Pababa talaga siya. Medyo tumaas lang siya noong December 14 to 20. Kasi siguro dahil magpapasko. Diba? So marami talaga ang sasakyan. So yun yung mga ano natin, yung mga nakuha nating reports. But the good news is, you know, uh, talagang bumaba siya significantly. It has been, it has its personal and I just want to show you some of our accomplishments. I browse long natin, okay? Okay, so ito yung mga accomplishment natin from August. So nahuli na po sila. We have one carnapping groups na natutukan natin. That is the uh, Marcos Chop Chop group, no? Uh, sila usually yung uh, parang madalas kinukuha nila FB trucks na and then they chop chop nila and ibibenta okay and uh, ha, up to now wala na tayong known na car napping organized car napping groups na tinututukan so kasi talaga medyo nano na sila medyo nahuli na nahuli na natin sila so yun yung mga so for our reports of accomplishments okay please so though, these are the our recovered vehicles Okay, next. And also, this is we recovered in Barangay Kalumpang Binangon and Rizal, no? based on our, and as you can see, no, madami tayong nahuli doon. Ito na yung mga chop-chop, ito na yung sa Marcos, ito na yung sa Marcos chop-chop group mm -hmm. na we were able, and they were arrested and cases are being filed against them. Okay, next. Merong nagapag-bail, Pero yung iba nakakulong pa ng... Okay, next. Okay. Okay. Th these are some of the plates, no? That are supposed to be fake. Okay, next. Okay. Ano pa yung ano, no? Uh, special plate pa. Okay, next. Next. If you want a copy of this, I can give you. Okay. Next. Okay. Damina, no? Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so that's all for my briefing. If you have some questions, I am. Uh, no questions? Please be kind. No, that was before pa. Ganun na talaga, starting from 5 to 2. The first ship, first ship is about 108, ay 98, and then the second ship is 75. And then we have also 10, for, we have, for the first ship, we have 5 to 2, and then second ship, the same people, same people. In the afternoon, we have 2 to 11 p.m. And then the mobile will start from 10 to 6. So, nago overlap siya. Walang, walang, there will be no time for the EDSA na wala yung HPG. Kaya lang, syempre, paggabi. Pumisan nga, you know, uh, when, I, when I was in Cagayan, I uh, arrived in the airport by, at, by about 12, 12 midnight. And, and traffic pa eh. Traffic pa rin. Inabot pa rin ako ng mga from airport to Novaliches, 3 hours. Sabi ko nga, ano ba to? Parang maga, parang maga. So, ibig sabihin, meron pa rin talagang traffic sa EDSA. Hindi mawawala. So, nung yung 200 plus na personal na HPG na Actually, 183 lang sila as of now. But uh, we have some, uh, I, I, I saw an order just this morning that it will be increased but for about 250 because of the and also of the uh, international uh, eucharistic and the other one asian tourism summit so some of our personnel from the regions about i think 80 of them will also be brought here to assist in the traffic because we are expecting the traffic will also be congested by this time it will start on january this, uh, yes. Huh? No, no, no. Yung, 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 yung EDSA, gagawin natin at least mga 220, and the others will be, as yun nga dun sa, i-deploy natin sa Asian Tourism and the uh, International Eucharistic in Cebu. So, yun. So, yung 183 po, gagawin 220. So, Actually, hindi, hindi, hindi siya specific na 220. The more, the better. Naghahanap pa talaga kami. So ngayon, siguro, uh, ang gusto kasi ni, ng, ng aming director, si Gerald Gunao, is to make it as many as possible, about 300 that will manage it. So, so tinitingnan pa as of now, tinitingnan pa natin kung meron pa tayong itadagdag. Because you know, kukunti lang din kasi ang ano. That's why we are encouraging pa nga sa... <coughs> Some, uh, if you have some friends that would like to be assigned in HPG, we would like, we are very willing to accommodate them. Kasi talagang kukonti lang yung tao namin. The whole? The whole is, I think, 1,300 something to include the non-uniform personnel. And it, it, they are being distributed in 18 regions. Kasi kung kukunin naman natin sila lahat, papano naman yung ating anti-carnapi campaign in the regions. So, talag but ang kinukuha natin yung nandito lang sa 1 to 5 muna sa Luzon because they are... But during the APEC, talagang up to, actually mga tao ko sa Northern Mindanao, they went here about 20 of them. So, we will augment the personnel before uh, for this uh, ano, to, to help in the traffic situation in that yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, heavy, yes. So we are, yeah, we are preparing for that. Actually, we have a tra we have a technical working group, no, that meets every Wednesday, and uh, I think one of their uh, concerns will be that uh, parade with the uh, Pia with our missionary birds. So by I think by by they will deploy a lot, no. Uh, composite from LTFRB, MMDA, and LTO. And HPG, of course, will be building sa the uh, SAPI uh, works back. Mayroon na ba specific sa ENSA na As of now, wala pa. We, I, I think, uh, next next meeting with the technical working group, mayroon ng malinaw na, may malinaw na na uh, parang plano. Yes, we will issue advice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, usually, if 
parang individual na lang because yung yung mga known groups na huli na eh na huli na natin so this is more of an individual ano indi individual capacities na lang yung mga yon may mga sinasabi nga sila yung kumaga yung mga dating mga mga kasama eh, they operate individually na lang wala sila man. because oh mga remnants na lang yung mga nag operate ngayon pero wala tayong hinahabol pa because dun nga sa Oplan si but ni isa-isa na natin yan and they were able to arrest them already <coughs> Well, you can say maybe about half, almost half. 50 percent, yes, 50 percent. Ang naibaba because of that lambat siba, as you can see in the end. Because kasi nung ano nga 42, di ba? And then some 20 something na lang today, so mababa talaga. Uh, imagine uh, only three motor vehicle per uh, per week, as compared to before the start of the Oakland Lamasi. And that's only in NCR, uh, but uh, maybe hindi naman ganon kalake if we will also consider the regions. Ah, yeah, the the bus yellow lanes. Yes, yes. Uh, so we are also uh, request. We will also be uh, requested to assist them. It will start in Shaw, di ba? Shaw and up to Guadalupe muna. So it will, there will be a strict implementation where, where there is no, ano, wala pang huli. Hindi pa mang huli by Monday. Ang paano kunyari, doon sa may parte ng bagong mag-uling pay, meron kanan kasi doon sa may Red Cross. Ah, ah. Meaning, doon ka palang papasok pag malapit ka ng kumanan? At least, ano, at least 100 meters ang sinabi doon sa ano, kailangan kumanan ka na. So wala kasing magagawa kasi pag pakanan ka talaga, you have to cross it, no? And you have to signal na pakanan ka. Kasi kung walang open doors, kasi ano may mga, may mga orange. Ah, yeah. yeah, in that case, papayagan naman kung talagang kakanan. Kasi meron sinasabi, sinasabi lang kakanan, pero actually dadaan lang. Pero talagang kung sakaling dadaan lang siya at matagal siya doon, we will be forced na i-flag down siya. So, dapat gagamitin lang talaga yung yellow lane sa very sudden na uh, pakanan or pakaliwa. Mm -hmm. And I think that will be, uh, it will be some experimental siguro on Monday, but uh, I do hope, I, we are very optimistic na it will help in the easing to ease the traffic situation in Hens. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, yes, tama. <coughs> oh, yun, yun yung mga huulihin natin kapag lumabas, yun ang tututukan natin. Once na yung private pumasok sa yellow lane, uh, with that reason na to turn right, naka-apprehend sila. And the same also, the, the law applies also to buses that will also go out of their lanes. Yun ang mga huulihin natin. <coughs> Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.